Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at a very interesting Linux distribution. It's Bunsen Labs Lithium OS. But before we get started, please like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on social, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are down below. Lithium Linux OS. If you go to their website, which is right here, you go to www.bunsenlabs.org, this is where the home of Lithium is. Lithium is a distribution offering a lightweight and easy customizable open box desktop. The project is a community continuation of Crunchbang Linux. The current release is derived from Debian. And some of the features it has, it has a pre-configured open box window manager with Tint 2 panel, Conky system monitor, and a JG menu, and a feature-rich desktop environment, assortment of harmonizing GTK 2 and 3 themes, wallpapers, and Conky configurations, various configuration and application utilities to maintain the system, architectures, they are offered on a 64-bit and an i686, you've got community support, and then you've got reviews and press all down here. But this is where you would come to their website and you can get about news, installation, repositories, donations, frequently asked questions and forums. It's a really good looking website. So let's go ahead and close out of that and take a look at the desktop. If you download it, throw it on a USB or put it into a virtual machine, this is what you will be met with. It's a very clean looking desktop. At rest, if you look up here, it shows you the host is Debian. Up times five minutes. RAM, I've got this machine issued two gigabytes of RAM. It's only using 445 at present, which is really light on resources. And then you've got shortcut keys right here on the desktop. So if you need to get to File Manager, you could go Super F and it would take you to File Manager, just like that. So those are little cheat sheet over here for you to be able to get around the operating system very quickly. So let's go ahead and just do a right click. We do a right click. You got a search right here. You welcome to Bunsen Lab Live. You click on that. This is the little window pop up that you'd see when you first boot it up, and it just says that it's a live operating system, and it allows you to test Bunsen Labs without making any changes to your computer's hard drive. Among other things, it can be used to check hardware compatibility, network connection, monitor, keyboard to perform system recovery or to work anonymously on a public computer. And then it tells you that the keyboard shortcuts are over here, and then your system info is over here. And if you're in a live environment. Your username is user and your password is live. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Go back to right click. You can run program. You can bring up terminal. So if we bring up terminal, see if it has HTOP. It does have HTOP out of the box. And up here it says we're using 540 megabytes. And down here it says we're using 540 megabytes. So this conky and the HTOP are in conjunction with each other, which is hard to find sometimes. Because you'll run an HTOP on some systems and then open up their system monitor and it'll show that you're running more or less. They're just not in conjunction. These two seem to be matching up pretty well. So you can trust that what you're reading up here in the top right, resource-wise, is exactly what you're getting out of HTOP. So we'll close out of that. Then you got your web browser, file manager. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look at the file manager. And if I had to guess, I would say this is Thunar. It is the Thunar File Manager 1.8.4. We'll close out of that. Over here, you got your usual suspects, trash, documents, downloads, etc. And you got your main folders right here under user. And we will close. You got your text editor. Genie is your text editor, which is a really good text editor. I use that quite a bit. And Kate, because I'm on KDE and it comes with it and I know how to get around it. Media player, applications. And what we will do is. One thing I want to tell you right now, this took a little bit for me to find, I guess because I just wasn't looking clear enough. If you do boot this up on a USB or into a virtual machine and you have issues with resolution, just come down here to the main menu, go to Preferences, Display, and you're going to have Man X Render or AR and R Screen Layout. What you'll want to do is click on that. Go ahead and make that bigger so you can see it. Click on the VGA. Then look at Outputs, go to VGA, Resolution, and then pick the resolution you would like to work under. Because when it first opens up in a virtual machine, the resolution is not correct, and you got to go in and change it. So I went in and set it for 1920 by 1080, and that's where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. So Run Program, Applications, Accessories. you got your Archive Managers, your Screenshot, Terminal Emulators, things like that. 
Then you've got the CLI and text editor. You've got Genie. You've got Icon Browser. For graphics, you've got Image Viewer. You've got Document Viewer, Ristretto Image Viewer. Multimedia, you've got VLC out of the box, Pulse Audio Control. Internet, you've got FileZilla, Firefox ESR, Mail Reader, Transmission, Web Browser. Office, you've got the LibreOffice suite out of the box. Advanced Network Settings, Alternatives Configurator, Custom Look and Feel. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this is where you would want to change if you wanted to change the way it looks you could change it this right now is running under the bunsen labs lithium and then you got bunsen labs fever room which makes it a little red and then you got the light then you got bunsen blackish remix then bunsen flattish crocus remix so you've got some different looking ones in here that look pretty good rainforest i'm going to go with the crocus remix and then color, you can come over and change whatever colors you want. Background-wise, foreground-wise, it gives you a little bit of customization there. Icon theme, well, right now we're using the Bunsen Dark Blue-Gray. And then you could go with the Dark Gray if you chose. Or you could just go with the Gray and Apply. And then that'll change them across the operating system. Mouse cursor, you can change what you want it to look like. Right now we're just using the regular white. You can go over here and choose that if you wanted to and Apply and change it or you could go with the white and apply fonts you've got enable anti-aliasing enable hinting you can come over here and change those if you want and then other graphic user options toolbar style icons only you could do text only text below icons text beside icons we'll just stick with icons only toolbar icon size you can go with a small large same as the button same as drag i'm going to go with large and apply and then sound effects and accessibility. So let's close out of that. Let's go back down here. Okay, light DM GTK greeter settings. You can change that up if you choose. Nitrogen notifications, power manager. If you're running on a laptop and you want to adjust the way it's working, you can do that. Preferred applications, removable drives, synaptic package manager. Because it is Debian, you knew that was going to be there. Synaptic, if you're not familiar with it, most of you are. It's probably one of the better places you can find software to install. Let's go ahead and make it full screen. Over here, it gives you all your different kinds of software you can download. Like you go video software. You can click on that and then you can go up and do a search. If you want to, you can go OBS. And then there's OBS Studio, OBS Plugins, FM. All of these are dependencies. So what you do is click all four. Mark for installation, and it'll tell you all the dependencies that you're going to need. You can click Mark, and then once those are all marked, just click Apply, and you've installed OBS Studio. Now, if you were looking for something else, let's say you were looking for Caden Live. You would click on Caden Live, Mark for installation. Then it's going to show you all the dependencies that are going to be installed with it. They're all marked. You just click Mark, and then click Apply and then it would install Caden Live. So if you're familiar with Synaptic, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. If you're somebody that's new to the Synaptic Package Manager, I would definitely say go in, look around, search the software you want to install, and do it through Synaptic. Plus, it helps keep it up to date. Let's close out of that. And then down to System, you got your BL File Manager, your GDB Package Installer. Once you find a package online that is Debian-based and you download it, go over to your File Manager, right-click, open with GDB Package Installer, It'll open up this window and install that Debian package directly to your system. So we will close that. And that's pretty much everything under system. Bunsen Lab Utilities, Take Screenshot, Remote Desktop, Places, Recent Files, Preferences. You can adjust your Bunsen Lab preferences, your Open Box preferences, Compositor, Conky, Tint, Appearance, wallpaper notifications wallpaper let's see if we can change the wallpaper i like the one that's up there quite honestly but we'll try something different just to be different let's go with the there you go wallpapers changed you got the bunsen lab wallpaper it had a pretty decent amount of them then your system printers task manager install selected packages help and resources getting started you got tutorials basic help and support script tutorials debian the arch wiki at a click away Display your keybinds, which are already up here, but you can add more if you choose to. And then lock screen and exit. You've only got one panel. It's down on the bottom. you got the main menu here. And then over here, you've got your power, date and time, battery, internet, and sound. All in all, Lithium is a decent-looking operating system. It's based on stable Debian, so you know it's almost bulletproof. 
It's got all the tools in it you need to get your apps downloaded and installed. And it's a very clean and light environment. I mean, as of right now, we're still hovering around 600 megabytes of the two gigs that we got installed. So it's a very light operating system. It's easy on the resources based on Debian. How can you go wrong? I recommend zip on over to Bunsen Labs website, download lithium, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual box and go play around with it for a little bit. Do me a favor before you go, please like, subscribe or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials or better yet, become a patron to the channel. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.